All right, guys. And gals, thank you so much for watching. It's uh, almost two o'clock. And uh, it's been a while since I've shot a, uh, smoking a joint at 2 a.m. video. So we're gonna go find a place appropriate. Somewhere. And uh, partake. I'm thinking uh, Chippewa Park might be nice. I uh, I'd say Merritt Park, but uh, there's a lot of weirdos at night that come out of the bushes in there and uh, we don't need no part of that as you can see the roads are uh, The roads are pretty, uh, pretty empty. We, uh, we pretty much have the roads. Aside from the odd one, odd car. One of the reasons I'm uh, out and about doing this tonight is uh, simply that it's really, really nice out and really, really warm. And when I say really warm, I'm talking like uh, it's only like 15 degrees right now. Fifteen degrees ish, maybe ish. Yeah, fifteen. So it's really, really uh, beautiful out. That being said, I have, uh, I do have a uh, a decent hoodie on, and uh, and also uh, a long sleeve shirt over top of. Uh, over top of a t-shirt. There's actually probably just as much weirdos out here in uh, Chippewa as well. So, I don't know. Anyway, we'll go over to the, uh, we'll go over to the, uh, picnic, picnic tables. There's turtles live in that pond. And uh, they actually survived through the winter, those fuckers. Which is pretty damn good, considering. We're, uh, we're hoping for a mild, mild, mild... Um, we're hoping for a mild uh, winter this year. And... An early spring. Uh, 
ideally. I hope you guys liked the videos this morning and uh, this afternoon. I had a lot of fun shooting it. Uh, Daniel and um, Daniel and I had a great run out there. I wonder why this front one isn't working. <coughs> the last time we did a, uh, the last time we did a uh, smoking at 2 a.m. video. <laughs> was about, um, I think about probably four months ago. But I'd have to go check the videos. Uh, can't remember exactly. But I figured Chippewa Park would be pretty nice. There's a uh, an actual abandoned factory out by um, out by uh, what's it that I want to explore. Uh, James Emery told me about it, and uh, but I don't want to do it with James. <laughs> he's uh, he's a bit of a klutz. And I don't think you'd be a con conducive to uh, to uh, not getting caught. So I kind of want to do it, um, not get caught, and hopefully um, get a good video out for you guys. Those guys we saw, you saw in the video, we're here in Chippewa, and uh, this afternoon when we were at Chippewa Park, we came through uh, the other day with me and Jimmy and uh, Daniel. Those guys were wrestling over in the volleyball pit. There's a name of that, uh, that style of wrestling that they were doing. I can't remember what it is, though. but it is a very distinct style of wrestling. It really is amazing out here tonight, guys. I gotta tell you, it's, uh, it's really nice. I think what we're gonna do, I was planning on just actually shooting a uh, smoking a joint at 2 a.m. video. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is extend it out and do a little bit of a ride. Um, we're not going to have too, too many days of, uh, this is how unprepared I am. I just came out wearing my, uh, my deck shoes. Uh, I had just planned on coming out, burning one, and then heading out. And uh, turns out it's really, really nice out. I dressed perfect for the night and uh, definitely want to spend a little bit of time out. Um, Tammy's already napping, so I don't have to worry about her. It's, like I say, it's the middle of the night. The roads are pretty much empty, so I might as well take advantage of that, too. Oh, big video coming up soon. Um, we're going to get some of those uh, crossbows out and uh, get some shooting happening. Um, Super excited about that. I gave my friend's uh, son a, uh, a regular old crossbow and a handful of arrows. And uh, one of my fears of his is that I, he's gonna that he's gonna take his thumb off. So I uh, I made sure I told him when you do you take it out and do it, uh, make sure that you're not you don't cut your thumb off. Don't put your thumb above the uh, 
the uh, string line, right? The light's working out. I actually was going to go over to the other one, but the, there's some some kids over there already. So I don't want to uh, fuck with them. I hope everybody had a great day today. Uh, tomorrow, I've got uh, a I'm pretty much going to be doing a whole shitload of cleaning tomorrow. Uh, in the apartment, my uh, my mother-in-law is coming on Tuesday uh, to see in two days. Uh, she's coming to see, of course, Tammy, and uh, I want to have the place all spick and span and cleaned up for her um, tomorrow. Tammy's gonna get a uh, either a shower. Or I'm gonna have to give her a, a hardcore sponge bath. Make sure she's uh, all gussied up. Uh, get her into some nice. We'll have to pick out a nice outfit for her uh, to get into. Um, should be pretty easy, but my kitchen just needs a little bit of um, a bit of a going over. Mm. We're still going to be doing a Niagara Falls video, uh, hopefully before the winter hits. Um, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Um, we always got next year to do it. Um, next year we're going to have a full roster of videos coming out. Um, I'm going to be practicing over the winter. I think I'm going to get my drone out and do some major uh, uh, practicing my drone flying. Um, uh, and next summer we're going to concentrate on uh, good drone videos. Um, I think what we're going to do too is I'm going to uh, be contacting uh, the people who I get my body armor from and we're going to uh, request if they can send a plate over uh, for testing to see how the, uh, how the crossbows will, will uh, how they'll handle crossbow bolts. Um, the, uh, even the flexi plates that I have, um, they're supposed to be rated for like AK-47 rounds. Um, and they're not completely uh, uh, fiber. They're not all Kevlar or uh, Aramid or Mylar. Um, they're all they're actually interlocking ceramic plates as well in there. Um, I thought it was actually uh, just flat out Kevlar through and through, um, but I don't think they are. I think they're actually got uh, plates in it. And uh, from what I was looking at from the manufacturers from Safe Life. Um, they're octagonal uh, plates that flex one way and that, that's what prevents the actual bullets from going through and the shards from actually going through. Um, but I'd, I'd like to see if they would donate one plate, one, uh, one plate to, for me uh, to test them out uh, with the compound crossbow. It would be interesting to see if um, my bone splitting chisel tips will make it through that plate. But I. I'm pretty sure they will. Uh, I'm not sure if it's it's going to be uh, too too bad, but I know I'm. It'll be fun to try. If you guys remember last last year, I actually put a uh, a crossbow bolt through one of my laptops. Um, it wasn't behaving well, and I just got sick of it. So I ended up uh, putting an arrow through through the crossbow. Um, this time we're actually going to use uh, some heavy duty. These are uh, called FRAS plates, which stands for, um, uh, what is it? Rated, uh, fire, um, rifle rated. They're rifle rated plates. So these things are, are will stand up to 5.56. Uh, those are standard AR rounds. Um, and it'll also stop up to 8K uh, uh, 7.62 by 39 millimeter so by 39 so it's I think it'll I think that the, the bone splitting chisel tips aren't going to make it through but hey uh, you never know we'll see
We could probably take a spin out tonight out by uh, the Dollar Tree, Dollarama, and Giant Tiger. I haven't actually been there at night, so I'd be kind of neat. We could probably even take a spin out to uh, the college, out by the collegiate. I've actually got a full charge, so we could even spend uh, like a, almost up to an hour out there. Hey, if you guys have any suggestions, um, one of the viewers actually suggested uh, uh, the Screaming Ghost Tunnel out in Niagara Falls, and that's actually what we have. We're going to have that um, planned for when we do our Niagara Falls, uh, our Niagara Falls um, video. Um, but I did find out, I, I googled it, and the actual Screaming Ghost Tunnel, um, we went to the Blue Ghost Tunnel. The Screaming Ghost Tunnel is actually just a little, like it's like a a 40 foot long uh, just a stone tunnel um, it's not like the blue ghost tunnel where it's uh, blocked off from the far end and it's literally a cave right the uh, screaming ghost tunnel is just an arch bridge but and it doesn't even have as many uh, deaths that I was reported as the blue ghost tunnel but it does uh, apparently have a ghost um, of a lady that was I believe murdered by a lover I'm not sure I got to do some research on that before we actually do the video and I'll let you know before we go I'll tell you though um, I would not want to have gone to that blue ghost tunnel on my own and I'm pretty sure even if I had just one other person I don't think I'd want to go to the blue ghost tunnel on my own <laughs> or with you know just one person um, I was really 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 glad we had three people that night I was really happy I don't think ghosts attack people by three. I don't know if you guys remember <coughs> last year I did video um, I did a couple of drone videos of flying my drone and uh, it was just a small DJI uh, mini meaning it wasn't had a crappy camera the the battery wasn't very good I only got like 20 minutes um, flight time um, and it was tiny it was like this big all right um, last year uh, I, I bought that in preparation for flying a larger size drone and uh, I did that I got I bought a, um, a DJI Phantom 4 and these are big ass ones this one's a big fucking drone like this big um, but I've never flown it so I bought the damn thing and I didn't actually take it out or learn how to fly it uh, but I'm not worried because it's actually the same as the little one it's even made by DJI. The little one was made by DJI too. So uh, I, it's the same flight characteristics, flight uh, controls and everything like that. But uh, it's just so much bigger. It's a lot more um, powerful. It's a lot more uh, professional, right? <clears throat> I even bought an extra battery for it. So we're going to do, so I'll have uh, Quite a distant bit of flight time. Um, each of these batteries are approximately give it about a 40 minute flight time. And I have a spare one. If you guys have any um, if any of you viewers have electric bikes um, and want to do a rides with, with us, leave a note in the comments. Um, we could definitely accommodate you. We would love to get you, get you guys out on the road with us or the trails. Um, I don't know if you know my next uh, upgrade for electric bike is going to be a Stark Varg. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
It's the Start Varg. It's a uh, 80 horsepower, uh, equivalent to roughly about a 450 cc. My God, <coughs> I'm gonna choke to death. <coughs> Excuse me. So I was saying, if you have any suggestions on um, locations that you want us to go shoot a video at or explore, uh, like I say, leave a note in the comments and uh, we'll see if we can get out there. And if we do actually use your suggestion, I'll make sure you get a shout out in the, uh, in the, uh, in the video. Just do them reasonable, like don't tell us to go explore a police station or something crazy, right? Yeah, I had no idea that uh, that Blue Ghost Tunnel, so many people apparently died in it. Two trains collided in the tunnel, and uh, 107 people, or I don't, I don't know exactly, but over 100 people actually died in that tunnel. That's why I was glad I was, wasn't alone. We don't have any insane asylums or abandoned insane asylums out here, so. Well, there probably is. I just don't know where they are. I don't know if I'd want to go explore an insane asylum either. Well, definitely not by myself. Haha. <laughs> This is a nice, actually, a nice smoking a joint at 2 a.m. Um, episode. I did one, and it was in the middle of a blizzard. It was there was a blizzard. It was uh, the middle of winter, and uh, I ended up smoking a joint in the middle of the road on Bridge 13. That's our main bridge by the Canal Terrace that we usually hang out at. And uh, it was a fun video because I didn't actually. It wasn't one where I stuck stuck, ar stuck around and hung out. Uh, I burned one real quick and then we, I took off. Uh, I went back home. Tonight, however, is really nice. That's why I want to stick out and go around for a little bit. Hey, do me a favor. Um, if you like my content, uh, get, leave a likes on the videos that, that you enjoy. And that way I know I'm on the right track to... Uh, for giving you guys entertainment, right? Giving you guys content that you'd like to see. Um, I appreciate the fact that you guys actually come and hang out with me. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing skydiving or uh, racing cars, but I think we get out and do some pretty cool shit here and there, right? Okay, we're going to have a quick smoke and then we're taking off. I'll tell you a funny story. So, the other day, um, we were at Express and, uh, and uh, Sharon had a little bit of her uh, pot that she's grown over the last growing season. And uh, I hadn't actually bought any, uh, brought any pot with me to the meetup. So uh, I had asked her if she had anything that I could twist up and whatnot, or if she had a pre-rolled. I think I asked her for a pre-rolled specifically. So.
so anyway, she had um, she had uh, some of her homegrown stuff, and uh, and a, a brand new pack of papers. Um, but the thing is, is I haven't rolled single paper joints for like ever. I haven't. The last time I rolled single paper joints was twenty years ago, type thing, right? Um, I've been using uh, the long raw papers and on the uh, most recently, like in the last four years recently, I've been using those dial yield papers. Uh, but the point is, is they're always bigger than just a single paper joint, right? Um, so I, I, I basically, I had lost the ability to roll regular size joints. Um, all I could roll was big, big joints. And uh, so the other day, uh, when she had these, it was just papers and whatnot, I, I couldn't roll a joint. I couldn't roll a little joint. And uh, thank God Jordan showed up, um, and uh, he, he rolls nice little decent ones. So I got him to actually roll these joints for us that day. And I thought it was funny because I smoked so much pot and stuff that you figure I could roll it with anything, right? But uh, no, I can't do it. Can't roll little ones. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Um, I've actually got really good an, 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 an analytics on my uh, subscriber. About half of my uh, views are uh, from subscribers and ha uh, just under half are not, uh, or it's the other way around, just 40% are uh, from subscribers, my views, and 60% is from unsubscribed. So I definitely could use people who are watching and like it. Uh, not only leave a like, but actually subscribe. It really helps the algorithm, uh, the YouTube algorithm, gets my videos out there, gets my videos more uh, recommended uh, for viewing and gets them sent out there. So I really appreciate it. Um, that's the goal, right? Get as many uh, uh, viewers from outside my local area to get involved. Thanks to all my foreign viewers, people who aren't from North America. I, I do appreciate that. Um, my next biggest viewer base outside of Canada is uh, the US, and then of course after that is the UK. Uh, speaking of which, Simon from the UK, thank you so much for watching. If you're still with us, I would re I really appreciate it. Um, uh, Nat Camp Tassant, thank you so much for your support. I really love the comments. You guys always have positive, uplifting comments that really make a difference. I like getting good comments. The shit comments I don't care about so much. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't really pay attention to them. It's just uh, the good ones that I can catch and and respond to. The bad ones I either a don't respond to or if it's a stupid fucking stupid really stupid comment, I'll I'll definitely respond just to <laughs> just to try to burn you guys, the commenters, the trolls. It's funny, I get the odd uh, people where they say they, well, never mind, I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> Man, I got wet today. We <laughs> You probably can't see it in the video. Well, you can see a part where uh, it just uploaded, but uh, we were going through a subdivision that was being built, and uh, there was a whole shitload of water, and uh, I kind of just powered through it, but as a result, I got soaked. My pants got soaked, uh, everything, all my legs, everything got so I had to wash my vest tonight. It was just completely muddy and crappy, so I had to stick that in the shower. <laughs> that was awesome though it was a lot of fun okay guys what do you say let's get out of here
I'm uh, shooting this actually in high definition uh, 4K tonight. And the reason I'm doing that is I noticed on uh, the Blue Ghost Tunnel, um, I might actually even go back and shoot another video there, but it'll be uh, in uh, definitely in 4K, um, 60 frames. And um, I think we're going to take road flares. Uh, road flares seem to be the best for um, seem to be the best for shooting uh, in the dark. And I we, the, one of the big problems was was that my um, camera was having a hard time picking up the uh, uh, in the dark. So uh, you, you saw what was happening, major pixelation and what have you. So we're definitely going to make sure that don't happen. <laughs> is not the way I want it to go. Let's do a quick turnaround. I almost bit it there. On my uh, super bike, my uh, rear brake is on the right. And uh, on this one, my front brake is on the right. I was turning there and I uh, cranked my front brake, almost bit it. A lot of Christmas, Christmas, a lot of Halloween decorations uh, out, and we still got some of the, uh, I'm seeing some of the um, Christmas decorations already starting, starting to come out too. We're currently on the, uh, the rich side of town, uh, so there's a lot more better, a lot more better displays. Crap, you know what? We did such a muddy run today. I bet you my rear view light is just dead. Or dead, covered up, all muddy and crap. Let's give it a quick rub. All right, that ought to do. All right, we're off.
take a spin around the uh, parking lot.
My feet are cold. How funny is that, eh? My buddy asked me how I should get studded tires and uh, drive through the winter. I thought that's pretty fucking crazy, actually. Uh, Go see if anyone we know is here. Nick the Predator's there with his buddy Robbie Godfrey. <laughs> They're good company. Good for them. We'll do one more circuit round and then uh, call it a night. It is uh, almost 2.30 right now. Look at that, nobody on the street all the way down. And we got green lights all the way.
wonder if McDonald's is open 24 hours. I don't know. Got a new uh, modem delivered uh, today, so I think where I'll get that going tomorrow. And I have to actually call the uh, the uh, internet provider um, to get it to get my uh, service upgraded. It's going to really, really help my upload speed. That's for me, guys. Green light all the way. Come on, next lights. Turn green. Yeah, I better slow down. There we go. Ready for bed, guys. I don't know about you. Mm. All right. Baby. Hi. I wasn't too long, eh? No, I was watching 
Awesome. Which one? What are you watching? Oh, Elden Ring? Oh, No Man's Sky. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Say goodnight, hon. Good night, guys. See you guys on the next one.